You are watching a tutorial video for the AI Writer, previously known as the Writing Assistant. I'm going to click this button here to get started. And this is where I enter my article keywords. I have a limit of up to 10. Let's go with dog training. The task is very gratefully to me, pre-filled out my task name using the first keyword in the list. I have the option of changing the search location and the language of my article, as well as selecting whether I want to find the normal search results or get content from the news. I have the search results limits at set at 100 URLs, which is a good balance between speed and quantity of content. If I want less content available to me while I'm writing and researching, I can set it down up to a maximum of 300 URLs. Because I'm using Google search, I also have the option of selecting and adding questions and answers to my article, and that's set to find at least 15 items. When I'm happy with my settings, I click on run, and the task will start going online to find content. My task is finished finding content. Now, there are a couple buttons here I should explain. The first one is, Redownload content. If you ever clean the content cache or you need to redownload new content, you can click on this button here and it'll go out and search online for content. If you ever need to edit the keywords or some of the settings, you can click on that edit button here. Now, to actually begin writing content, I want to click on this name, dog training keyword, and it brings us to the writing section. The left hand side are some tools that you can use to track the SEO optimization of your article. Generate is where you do the bulk of your writing and generation. Your rewrite is where you can finish your article off by either using a rewriting or a translation tool. Now to get started, I can't actually write anything in this space here. I need to add a section. So sections are headings or questions and answers. So these are scraped online from Google search. And it's a good way of kickstarting your article. Think of these as subheadings to an article you want to write. Select two headings and I'm going to select a question. Now you'll notice as I'm clicking items that they are appearing in blue with a strike through. So what the AI writer is doing is keeping a track of headings and questions that you've already used in your article. If you ever need to reset tracking, you click clear use and you can see everything's gone back to normal. Filter inserts. If I only want to find headings that use the word dog inside them, I would do this using this box here. You can see the filtering has brought it down to 199 items. Similarly for questions, I can also filter this list using this box here. I'm going to close this and now we're in our writing section. Here are our subheadings and here's the question and answer I added. If I need to change the location, I can click on these buttons to move items up or down. If I need to delete a section, I click on the delete button like so. If I want to edit any of the sections, this is a editable area, kind of like WordPress's Gutenberg editor, so I can just click on a heading and just type in and it will save it. I can click on a paragraph and make changes too. There is also, you can see some very basic HTML styling I can do. I can click on and select sections, make them bold, underline them and add italics, so italics and underline. I can also add bullet points. You can see it's picked up the bold styling, so I can just click on that to remove it. I can add numbers, so lists. Now if I click on the generate EN button, it's gonna use this title and some content here to generate some English paragraph content which follows on. And if I click generate again, it's going to use 
couple of words here and add it. And if I click generate again, it's going to keep going on and adding more and more content. Sometimes you might find the article generator gets a bit stuck. So let's say if I click generate here, it doesn't have a lot of content to base on. So let's click generate again, but it's found some content. Now it's saying this content here doesn't look really correct, but it's managed to go forward. Now my tip with the generate button is you have a lot of generator credits when you make a purchase or get the trial. Don't be afraid to generate a section. See that doesn't look correct. But if I click generate again, you notice it's taken content from this line and formed a much better paragraph underneath it. Now all I have to do is delete this and there's my article uh, ready, ready to go. So don't be afraid of using the generate button as many times as you need. Now you can actually control the output of this generator. So let's remove some of all the content before. You notice it's generating article text. Maybe I wanted to read like ad copy. I can click on this drop down. I can also write product reviews. So let's try generate dog training product review. Uh, you can read. I, so this looks like a review that you might find on Amazon. So there's some voices for the generate. Now, if I am editing text, I can always go to add sentence and I can refer back to the pre-scraped list of content that the AI writer found online. So I have access here to 1,474 sentences and my article is about dog training, add sentence, and let's say, just find me sentences with the word training in it. So click here to add this sentence. Maybe I want this, click here, add that sentence. And the sentences are now in this section. And I can always click generate to prompt off this content for the AI generator to create something. Now, once I've gone through and I'm writing my article, you notice on the left-hand side that these colors and these numbers keep changing. So complete your article 90%. So where's that coming from? That's coming from use these keywords. So when you start a new writing task, it's going to find the top 10 most important keywords for that article. I can see the full list of keywords actually by clicking on that button. And you can see there's actually 82 one word keywords, two word keywords, 42, three words. I can also import my own keyword list if I want to. Now to play with this list, Anytime I click on a keyword here, it removes it from the list. I can add my own keyword to the list. If I want to add this to my list, I just click on it. You can see dog training has appeared. Again, let's say remove these two. Close this box and that's my keyword list. Now as I'm writing dog trainers, you see it's highlighted that and it says one. So dog, the word dog trainer has appeared in my article at least one time. And the word cat has appeared five times. In this big sentence list here, I can actually do some additional filtering and find and replace editing. So here it is, sentences. Now if I always want to remove any content that has the word, let's say I saw Salt Lake City, so remove sentences using the word salt. Click apply filter. So it's removed it. Anytime I see the word dog, I'm going to make it say rabbit. Click apply filter. Where you don't just train rabbits. And when I close this, what I did in the filter content is now applying on top of this sentence list. So if I look at it, you see that the word rabbits has appeared. But on top of this, we also have another layer of filtering. So this is your direct filter, rabbit. So now you can see the workflow where I can take existing content, filter it, and then filter it once again to find what I need. So once you've written your content and you know you want this as HTML, you can click this button to save it. If you, however, you want to go to the next step, which is to make your content more unique, you go to the Rewriter tab. So this is all my content in just plain text. When I click Rewrite, this is where I can choose the spinner I want to use. And 
for the AI Paraphrizer, it actually has a translator attached to it. But let's just go to the soft spinner, which is a free English translator. Uh, sorry, which is a free English spinner. I'm going to click on spin. So all my content here has been spun. I click on the refresh spin button here to see the variations. And if there's a particular variation I need or I like, I will click on export. And this will save it. Now I can make edits to the screen. But I want you to note that I've written the word hello. Now if I go to generate, the word hello doesn't appear here because this screen works from left to right. So now if I make any changes to my generator and I go back to the rewrite tab, it's going to pull all the changes from generate and put it into rewrite. So the way to think of it is your content work and rewriting appears should go in the generate tab. If you want to use the HTML, you need to save it here. If you want to rewrite it, then you go to the rewrite tab to do your rewrites. And the reason why it has to be like this is because you can't apply a spinner to this content, then go back to generate and have spin text in this editable area. And the reason why spin text doesn't work when you have HTML tags applying styles, and it definitely won't work with the AI generator. So this is just a limitation with using NI, the AI generator and HTML editing with spin text symbols. Now, if you have any questions about how any of this works, feel free to send me an email, info at seocontentmachine.com.